everyone, this is Maki. Some new information has been released about Gundam Seed Freedom. Today, I'll share three pieces of news with you. First, a discussion about the Impulse Gundam Spec 2. Second, a talk about the cover of a magazine. Lastly, an interview with Mr. Win Maurice of Key, who is the voice behind Griffin Overrust of the Black Knight Squad. Let's dive into the analysis. First up is the content about Impulse Gundam Spec 2. It's being debated among fans whether it belongs to the Soft Forces or to Compass. Let's take a look at the newly released SD Gundam card. Although some text is hidden, the Compass logo is written on it. It seems highly likely that it belongs to Compass. Of course, there is also a possibility that it could be a soft unit cooperating with Compass in some capacity. For instance, there was a possibility that Isaac Jew could have been the pirate of the Freedom Gunnam. This was a setting revealed in the Master Grade Freedom Gundam's manual. He is a popular character and has cooperated with Lost Crying and others twice in the past. It's possible that Isaac, a soft member, could pirate the Impulse Gundam spec to, to assist Compass. What about other possibilities? In the promotional video, there is a scene where Shin Asa grumpily says how long will you continue such actions? It suggests he's been in an unfavorable situation for some time. Fans are speculating whether Shin will pilot the Modo Justice Gunnam. What if the movie depicts a flashback to a battle before the war it portrays? Could there be a chance that Shin pilots the Impulse Gundam Spec 2 before the Immortal Justice Gundam. Shin is the official pirate of the Impulse Gundam. By the way, Luna Maria was also a pirate of the Impulse Gundam. There is also speculation that Luna Maria might pilot the Galgook Mirrors. Could it be that the Impulse Gundam Spec 2 is lost for some reason? Given the Compass logo is present, it seems unlikely that it would be hostile to Kiro Yamamoto and others. Next is about the movie's fan book, the cover of the book, which will be released on January 29th, three days after the movie's release, has been revealed. The book features Kiro Yamamoto and Asran Zola standing back to back. It seems that some picture will be added behind them. It's marked as secret. It's common to think that the Gangnam Day Pirate will be added. Maybe new illustrations of the Rising Freedom Gunnam or the Immortal Justice Gunnam. Since these units have already been revealed, it feels okay to unveil the illustrations. Among fans, there is speculation that the Gangnams might power up or switch to new models. Since the book is released after the movie, it's indeed possible that it could feature enhanced or newly developed Gundams. What do you think? And now, an interview with Mr. Win Maurice Aki, who voices Griffin Oberrust. A scene of his performance has been released on the official Gundam channel. Here, he utters this line ha, a commander who can't use a sword. He speaks in a slightly derogatory and provocative manner. Who could these words be directed at? I believe they are probably aimed at Kiro Yamato. This ties into the content of an audio drama released as a bonus with the Sea Destiny video discs. Director Mitsuo Fukuda has said the audio drama is not just a comedy, but it's related to the content of the movie. In the audio drama, it's mentioned that Shin wished to be assigned to a unit commanded by Kiro. Also, in the conversation between Izuku and Kiro Yamamoto, it's revealed that Kiro is excellent at piloting mobile suits, but stands no chance in hand-to-hand -hand combat against trained soldiers. The term commander likely refers to Kiro Yamamoto. 
The element of unable to use a saw dosa aligns with the audio drama's content. Perhaps this insult from Griffin towards Kiro leads to Shin accepting a saw duel. In the promotional video, there's a scene where Shin is fighting sure. By the way, after provoking, will Griffin himself not fight? Griffin's other lines are also spoken. It seems like he's addressing his comrades. Ah, leave it to me. I'll secure victory in two minutes. In Sea Destiny, Kira Yamato neutralized 25 mobile suits in two minutes. Perhaps Griffin is harboring a competitive spirit against Kira. Mr. Morisaki says the movie has turned out to be fantastic, so please look forward to it. I am truly excited for the release as well. Additionally, photos of the model kit packaging and the cover of the novel version have been released. On the cover of the novel Kiroshin and Luna Maria are depicted along with the rising freedom and immortal justice. The novel appears to be published in multiple volumes. This cover is marked as Volume 1. It seems the story will be depicted in great volume. See you again in the next program.